Brennan, it's no secret there is no time to waste, and an agreement by the end of the year could save hundreds of police and firefighter jobs. Earlier today, I found out exactly how extreme the consequences will be if a budget is not decided by the end of the year. Time is almost up for Cincinnati City Council members to propose a new budget solving the city's nearly $60 million budget gap. While yes. council is off today, it will be back to the drawing board tomorrow morning. Councilman Jeff Birding says the new budget will have cuts. Plenty of spending in other programs uh, to the tune of over, I think, $40 million. So we're certainly cutting spending. Uh, we're prioritizing public safety. The having people pay for their garbage allows us to eliminate or mostly reduce police and fire layoffs. Birding says residents paying a trash fee will fill in the additional $20 million the city needs. So why is a budget taking so long? Just like at the federal level and at the state level, when you're cutting spending on programs that people are used to getting, uh, there's going to be opposition. Vice Mayor Roxanne Qualls says she's confident a budget will be made in the next few days. It's one of those things where hope springs eternal, and I do think that you know, there's probably a lot more back and forth that's going to occur Tuesday and into Wednesday, but at, at a certain point from Wednesday or Thursday, a decision is going to have to be made. If not, it's going to be made for us. Both Birding and Qual say if a budget is not agreed to, a contingency budget will be put in place, meaning huge job loss for those who work in Cincinnati. Hundreds of more workers get laid off, um, many more police and fire. Uh, and it's just a, it's a, it's a dramatic consequence that everyone wants to avoid. All of the layoffs that the manager included in his original budget, plus more layoffs, will occur. And some council members say opening the trash services to competitive bidding is a good idea. However, they say if that happens, the mayor will veto the bill, meaning we will go to that contingency budget and all the original layoffs will be implemented. Brendan. Adam Marshall on the seemingly never-ending story tonight. Thanks. A